If you haven't seen my last video where I spoke about how I moved to Canada as a tailor and also another video where I spoke about document that is needed, you know, especially if you're considering to immigrate to another country for 2023 and you want to watch that video after now. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the occupations that are currently in demand and I will also be sharing with you how you can open an expression of interest either through the SIMPEE or through the occupation in demand stream. So you want to be sure to watch to the very end so you don't miss out on any of this vital information. Okay, so looking at the Saskatchewan occupation in demand list for 2023, I'm just going to breeze through all of this occupation. So if you see anyone that's of interest to you, kindly pause the video, copy down the new NOC code, and you can use that for your application. So um, on this page, you get to see uh, the occupation title and also the NOC code. And this is basically for um, administrative roles, uh, corporate roles as well. You get to see for purchasing managers, insurance, real estate, banking, advertising, uh, other business service managers, telecommunication, human resource managers, financial managers, telecommunication. Um, you also have supervisors for general office, administrative support workers um and so on it goes all the way down but i'm going to be splitting uh, this into different uh, categories and very shortly we'll get to see um the occupation in demand for trade and for engineering and other you know sectors just like that and that will help you to um narrow down your search make in turn just making it easy for you to uh, pick your desired noc you also want to make sure you you watch till the very end because um after sharing all of this we're also going to be looking at the eligibility requirement for um the simp category and i'm also going to be showing you how you can open an expression of interest you know on the simp portal Try and look into the description box because I'm going to leave there the link to open uh, your expression of interest and um, every other information that you will need to submit a successful expression of interest. So right now we're looking at the engineering occupations and professional requirements. On here, this is basically for um, engineering people so if you fall into any of this category a civil engineer mechanical engineer chemical engineer industrial and manufacturing engineer mining engineers engineering managers you also have um the noc just by the side and able to also um double check this and also just to mention if your occupation needs licensure i'm going to leave a link for you to verify that as well before you send in your uh, your expression of interest so here is uh the trade occupation and also the professional requirements so if you are a cook you're into landscaping horticulture your contractor or supervisor for machining metals and the rest you are also involved in electrical trades and te telecommunication occupations if you're into pipe fitting trade carpentry trade you get to see the noc we still have quite a number you have iron workers you have electricians power system electricians carpenters cabinet makers bricklayers tile setters roofers and shinglers glazers insulators if you fall into any of this category, just pause the video, copy the NOC code. And um, if per adventure you are not interested in this and you want to help a family member or a friend, please forward this video to them because um, it's very detailed and um, bas basically just walking you through the entire process, choosing your NOC code and also opening a profile on um, the SIMP uh, stream and how you can basically submit an expression of interest. So if you're new to my channel, I just want to say a big welcome to you. 
thank you for joining the channel and thank you for staying this far okay thank you for staying in and you know sticking around with me um please endeavor to like this video and don't forget to drop your contributions your comments your questions in the comment section i'll find time to you know give a feedback as soon as i can So next, we're going to be looking at the point assessment for Saskatchewan PMP occupation in demand stream. You must score at least 60 points out of 110 and you get to see the five different eligibility criteria below. So what is the eligibility criteria for SIMP occupation in demand stream? You must score at least 60 points out of 110. You must get at least a Canadian language bank map, which is um, your IELTS, and uh, just requesting for a CLB4. You must have completed a post-secondary or training or apprenticeship that is correct, that is comparable to that in Canada. You must uh, have a highly qualified work experience, and it must not be on the excluded list. You're also required to have your work experience. You need to also provide proof of professional status or license eligibility. And lastly, you should be able... So guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you were able to get, you know, one or two information that will help your immigration journey to Canada, especially to Saskatchewan. If you're in need of any other support, please click on the link, you know, the consultation link in the description box to book for a 30 minutes coffee chat with me. And uh, we can discuss further on what your needs are in terms of immigration, settlement, business, and the likes. So guys, um, I wish you all the very best in your application and I will see you in my next video. Till then, have a good one and take care. Goodbye.